The following engineering is done on the OS and Sematic Batch client, respectively. After starting the Batch Control Center, the user is informed that the process cell data needs to be updated. The process cell is updated. The newly created phase is used in the supplied master recipe template recipe getting started v1.0. The modified recipe is stored under the name recipe ventilate. In the recipe editor, the newly configured ventilate phase is inserted in the recipe operation cook pasta. Because we defined the SFC type as an EPH or equipment phase, it is now included in the phase selection menu. The ventilate control strategy we defined can also be used elsewhere. In the parameters submenu, we can now enter a time value in seconds for the duration the ventilation valve is to remain open when the ventilation phase runs. After saving the master recipe, it is put through a validation check. and is found to be OK. Finally, we can release the finished recipe for production. A batch is created with the new recipe in the Orders folder, Released and started. The newly created recipe phase has been used successfully in an existing master recipe with very little effort. In this section, you have seen how a new equipment phase can be developed in the Sematic Manager as an SFC type. At this point, we should mention that equipment phases can also be implemented using batch interface blocks, although we will not expand on this here. You have seen how a recipe phase created in this way can be included simply and intuitively in a master recipe. The parameters specified in the Sematic Manager, such as set points, appear in Sematic Batch as recipe parameters, and the required values can be entered there. The procedure, as shown here, is only possible because of the tight integration of Sematic Batch with the modern Sematic PCS7 process control system. Thank you for viewing this video. For more information on PCS7 and Sematic Batch, <laughs>